Welcome back friends. This is Dr. Mary Lecturers and today we are starting the topic of genetics. This is all over biology and genetics is the second topic. The first topic is growth. After growth, the second topic in form 4 is, gen is genetics. You may contact me with the contacts above for the need of, of notes or for the need of more lecturers or for any question you may use those numbers in a normal call, telegram or whatsapp. So now let's start. Uh, genetics by definition is the branch of biology which deals with the study of heredity and variation in organisms. Kwa hiyo, tunachukisema ni kwamba genetics ni kusoma kusu first is heredity and then variation. So two things we are dealing with them in genetics. Tuna deal na heredity ambayo heredity tunaita kwa Kiswahili vina saba na variation ni kutofautiana. Kwa hiyo genetics ni branches of biology. Kama tulivyosoma form 1, we have various branches of biology. Genetics is one among the branches of biology. Kwa hiyo kwenye hii branch ya biology tunasoma nini? Heredity yani vina saba pamoja na variation. So now let's see in short what is heredity and what is variation. So heredity heredity nimekwambia Kiswahili ni vina saba. Vina saba ni nini? Uh, of course vina saba sio heredity yenyewe. Heredity ni kitendo cha kurithi tabia kutoka kwa mzazi kwenda kwa mtoto. Kurithi tabia. Kurithi tabia. Sasa tabia sio hizi tabia za nje. Yaani kuna tunaenda kusoma mbele kwamba kuna vitu tunavita acquired and inherited characters. Tabia ni characters. So we have acquired and we have inherited characters. Kwenye read tunaangalia the inheritance of, of inherited characters. So tunachokisema kwenye read read ni read refer to the transmission of genetic information from one generation to another. Transmission ni kama transfer. So we are transferring the genetic information from one generation to another. Generation ni kizaz. Asa kwenye heredity manaki tunachukua genetic information tunachukua a maelezo au muundo wa mwili ulioko kwa mzazi tunaupeleka kwa mtoto how does this happen kupitia gametes kupitia gametes kwamba vile ambavyo kwenye reproduction a male and female gamete zina fuse kutengeneza nani offspring manake male gamete inakuwa imechukua genetic information za mzazi wa kiume female gamete inachukua genetic information za mzazi wa kike then is another fuse manake tunakuwa tumechukua gene au tunakuwa tumechukua vina saba vya mzazi wa kike tumeunganisha na gene za mzazi wa kiume then tunapata a new offspring so that is the passage on of features or characteristics from parent to offspring or progenies or progenies so that is that is genetics in the passing in the transfer of genetic information from one generation to another that is the passing on of features or characteristics from parent to offspring or sometimes they are called progenies so uh, kitu gani ambacho nitakio kuelewa hapa ni kwamba yani features au characteristics vile ambavyo watu wao wanasema we ni mweusi kama baba yako alivyo mweusi we ni mweupe kama mama yako alivyo kwa mweupe we ni nywele zako kama za mjomba why we nywele zako kama za mjomba because kuna transfer ya karakter ambayo ilikwepo toka labda kwa babu yenu ikaja kwa mjomba kwa mjomba ikawepo kwa mamako kwa sababu mjomba na mamako they are one generation so kwa mamako mamako ndio ikapita ikaja kwako so that's all about it, about it, heredity so in human for example features such as hair color ya rangi ya nywele body shape kuwa mnene au mwembamba of the parent can be passed on or inherited to the children in genetics, a feature that can be inherited by the offspring from the parent is known as a trait. Kwa hiyo kitu chochote ambacho kinaweza kutoka kwa mzazi kikahamia kwa mtoto kinaitwa trait. Kinaitwa trait jina lake. Kwa hiyo hiyo trait trait ni kitu chochote ambacho kinaweza kutoka kwa kwa mtoto kwa I mean kwa mzazi kwenda kwa mtoto. Thus features such as hair texture hair texture and hair texture either nithimus kipiripiri sijui hair color 
kwa mfano nyeusi au kama za rubino skin color mweusi mweupe majakunde all they are called traits so the hereditary characteristics are passed from parents to their offspring through distinct units called genes kwa hiyo characteristics zinatokaje toka kwa mzazi kwenda kwa mtoto zinabebwa na kitu kinaitwa genes hasa genes zenyewe ni vipande vya dna tenda kuisoma hiyo dna ni nini dioxyribonucleic acid tenda kuisoma hapo mbele kidogo lakini gene ni kipande fulani cha dna kwa utanielewa tu uko mbele ninazozungumzia gene ni kitu gani lakini that's all about it, about it kwamba uh, the characteristics from parents to their offspring they are carried by by genes gene by definition they are hereditary material or factor which determine a specific characteristic or trait in an organism kwa hiyo gene kwa mfano kuna gene ya ngozi rangi ya ngozi ya gene ya rangi ya ngozi hiyo gene mtu anaweza kawa nayo labda ndio ngozi hiyo nyeusi hiyo uh, maji ya kunda na pia kuna gene inayohusika labda na, na macho kuna gene inayohusika sio na kuproduce melanin ndio maana wengine wanaproduce melanin wengine wanaproduce na korubino kuna gene inayohusika sio na hair texture kipilipili sio smooth yani ziko gene za aina mbalimbali so gene yenyewe kama gene ndio kina saba kwa Kiswahili inaleta kina saba then trait ni tabia fulani inayorithiwa toka kwa mzazi kwenda kwa mtoto and heredity ni kurithi so that the first part of genetics heredity tunasoma kurithi ini heredity tunaangalia ni kwa kiasi gani mtoto anafanana na mzazi offspring is similar to the parent now in variation in variation we are studying in variation we are studying the difference between the offspring and other offspring or between the offspring and the parents kwa variation tunaangalia utofauti kati ya yule mtoto offspring mmoja na watoto wengine au tunaangalia utofauti kati ya yule mtoto na wazazi wake au na ukoo wao kwa hiyo variation ni vile ambavyo unasema we uko tofauti na ukoo mzima we uko tofauti na ndugu zako that is what we call variation so variation is simply ni utofauti uh, to define variation they observable difference in the organism of the same species observable difference in the organism of the same species however variation muda mwingine sio tu observable yani observable maana yake ndio unaweza kuona kwa macho utofauti unaweza kuona kwa macho kwamba huyu watoto wa baba huyu wenzake wote ni weusi yeye peke yake ni mweupe that's variation lakini like sometimes variation inaweza kutokea hata kwenye gene kwa sababu gani variation huwa inaanzia kwenye genetic material kwenye dna ikishaanza kwenye DNA ndio nakuja kutokea nje. Utaendelea vizuri baadaye jinsi gani ambavyo DNA inasababisha vitu vitokee nje. Lakini unachotakiwa kuelewa ni kwamba tunapokuja kusema fulani ni mweusi, fulani ni maji ya kunde, fulani ni mweupe. That's all because of DNA. Kwa DNA iliyoko ndani yake ndio inayofanya awe mweusi. DNA iliyoko ndani yake ndio inayofanya awe na nywele za kipilipili. DNA iliyoko ndani yake ndio inayofanya awe mrefu. Kwa kama DNA iliyoko ndani yake ingekuwa inasoma mfupi na yeye angekuwa mfupi. Kwa hilo ni jambo ambalo unatakiwa unalijua hapo kuhusu variation. Kwa sababu ninavyosema observable difference ni tofauti ambazo zinaonekana kwamba huyu ni mweupe wenzake wote ni weusi. Lakini huo tofauti unatokana na ndani kule DNA genetic material. Genetic material kule ndani zimetofautiana na ndio maana hata huko nje pia huyo organism wanakuja kutofautiana. So living things arise from other living things of the same species through reproduction. Hiyo nimesoma kwenye cytology, kwenye cell theory nimesoma kwamba kwenye cytology form 1 nimesoma kwenye cell theory kwamba cell all say they 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 are derived from pre-existing cell. Kwa viumbe wote hai wanatoka kwenye viumbe wengine kwa process ya reproduction. Lakini hao viumbe hai wanaonyesha kwamba mzazi na mtoto wanakuwa wafanani au mtoto na mtoto mwingine anakuwa hafanani. So however organism show great number of variations utofauti wanaonyesha utofauti mkubwa. No two organism are exactly the same. The variations may be due to mutations of genetic material that is DNA caused by the X-ray, gamma rays, ultraviolet radiation or radioactive element. Kwa tunaposema mutation tutaenda kuona huko mbele kwamba nimekwambia variation inatokana na genetic material yani vina saba vile kubadilika vina saba ambavyo vinabeba tabia kwa sababu unaviona nywele ni nyeusi kuna kina saba ndani 
ndo tunaita genetic material au tunaita genes kile ndo kimebeba hiyo tabia ya nywele kuwa nyeusi kwa hiyo ili huyu binadamu aanze kuona kama amebadilika au ametofautiana na wengine lazima kila saba kibadilike kubadilika kwa kina saba ndo tunaita mutation mutation of genetic material ndo kubadilika kwa kina saba hasa mutation in agents zake kuna vitu vinavyoita mutants kama tutakavyoenda kusoma kwa mbele agents zake ni x-ray ndio maana huwa wanasema ukipiga x-ray utapungua umri kwa sababu gani x-ray zinaweza kusababisha mutations kibadilisha hiyo genetic material cell cell yanaweza kashinda kufanya kazi vizuri baadaye cell ikafu na baadaye hata mtu mwenyewe ukafu kuna x-ray kuna gamma rays kuna ultraviolet ultraviolet radiation or radioactive elements kwa hiyo vyote vinaweza vikasababisha mutation variation may also occur due to gamete formation and the combination of gamete at fertilization tena kuisoma kwa mbele variation kwa undani zaidi na kuichimba na tena kuona agent ambazo zinapelekea variation or causes of variation uh, between living organisms so from there Uh, tunachoweza kusema ni kwamba therefore genetics attempt to explain either how organisms do resemble their parents in certain features or differ from their parents in other features kwa hiyo genetics simply inaelezea nini kivipi organism wanafanana na parent au wanatofautiana kufanana na parent ni nini heredity kutofautiana na parent ni nini variation so That's all about it, about the introduction to genetics. And I don't want to make the period longer. So let it end up here.